Okay, so both of them are downloaded, right? Now what we need to do, we need to open the ArcGIS and put them there and see that how they do look like. So let's we'll go to the ArcGIS. Once you come to the ArcGIS, you have to make make sure you make a folder and where all your settings are saved. I hope you have watched my previous videos of ArcGIS. I have explained that here. But if not, so I'll just quickly make a new. And you can see once you click on the new, you can click on the folder and then you can select the folder where you want to save it. After you say, now you can see that this is somewhere where you might not be able to see your folder. If you're not able to see your folder, just click on this plus sign, connect to a folder, go to your PC and select a folder which you want to connect. And after you connect that, you can create a new uh, file database. Okay, so do you want me to do that? Okay, I'll just do that. I'll remove this then. Or maybe I'll try to okay quickly connect it to a folder so maybe you don't get confused at what I'm trying to say okay YouTube and then after you click this uh, I mean make this then you can create a new file geo database there like that and then add and then okay so this is how you can create now this is um, like this right so our folder have been created now after we create our folder and you can see it here in the catalog option that your work was somewhere where was our folder our folder was software youtube right it's this one okay you can now click on the plus and you can see what you are doing there it would be visible there so for now it's here just a geo database file that's visible there so it's okay now close this like this now what I will do, I'll just import those two SRTMs that we downloaded. So let's go to the SRTMs. So I have saved them there in the SRTM folder and I'll just grab and leave them here. And click on yes. And then yes, and I'll close the Google Earth Pro for the time being. Okay. So here we go. This is these are the two SRTMs that we have um, imported here. Now what I'll try to do here is the next step is I'll try to add a point of my location here the location that we were uh, actually wanting to find cache material for so I'll go to that uh, this option which is go to XY and you can change the unit accordingly I'll select degree minute second longitude latitude so let's add longitude and latitude so for longitude I'll add this with this one and for latitude I'll this here, right and then you can click on the flash here so it will flash the point it's here and then I'll add the point there so it's visible to me there so this is the point now there's one problem with my data that you can also see for your data if it is or not what what's the problem it is that I think that my catchment is not going to be that small it is going to be more like going out of this image and going somewhat like this so I need at least two more um, two more images here or DMs here so for that I will have to do a little bit of more working I need more data here it's very low and I think my catchment rates will be will be more than this uh, in, in this extent so what we can do for that how can we fix it now depending on that we will have to uh, go to the Google Earth Pro I mean sorry Earth Explorer USGS back and what I'll try to do is I'll try to read that this was 3371 and 3471 so do you know that how is this actually working here if you see this is 3471 this one the, the one which is invisible and now visible 3471 the one below is is 3371 so it means that the 71 is constant there but the 34 and 33 is changing so what does that mean it means that this column is for 71 and this row is for 34 and this row is for 33 so what would be happening for this column the row is same the column is changed so this is going to be 34 but this column will make it maybe 70 and this row will be 33 but instead of 71 like here it will be 70 so I need two more of these uh, blocks here the one will be 34 70 and 33 70 and it will fix my work so for that I'll get back here 
and what I'll do is I'll try to play with this map a little bit and try to get the data that I want to see here so what we want we want what we will we'll, ex we'll increase the extents here like this so more data will be displayed and after that I'll try to go to the data sets back and results and here we go so we have more data now now let's see 3370 and 3470 this is 3370 and for 3470 it's this is 3470 so this will fix our work right let's let's hope so let's get them I'll click on the download here for 3370 and download it there and also download the next one if you see this is how we can try to somehow fix our maps if you want to if your map is good you can just go with it you can find the catchment area but maybe later after doing the work you will find out that the catchment area is not fixing in this window and it needs more of the blocks so then you'll have to add them and do the steps again from the scratch so it will uh, it will be a little hectic task so that's why i'm trying to do that from the beginning i'm just expecting the area to be a little more bigger than this one now you know you know that I didn't take the area to the right side here I took it to the left side why because the floor direction is from left end to the right end so I know the catchment area is going to be at this left end instead of the right end. the right end is not going to be having any catchment area it's not uh, suitable there right so that's why I have taken everything to the left end 